Hi there, Moira MacDonald again. And hopefully we're on to part three and the final part of the decorating of the envelope. So what we've done so far is we made our envelope out of your of holding paper and we've covered the back. Now what we're going to do, oh well, we've also done our wee stick pin which is still upside down just to make sure that it's okay. What we're going to do next is we're actually going to decorate the envelope. Now I plan on using decoupage napkins for this and I've prepared my napkin prior to uh, us actually getting underway here. What I'm planning on doing is having a section of the napkin up the top of the envelope in that corner and a section of the napkin in the bottom of the envelope in that corner. Uh, I'm probably going to have to move it along a wee bit to get it to fit okay and obviously I'll need to tidy up because I rounded the corners there. I'm then going to be adding some lace and ephemera on top of this so that it's all sort of layered. So we'll get into that, we'll do the napkin first. Now I know when we're doing decoupage what we normally all do is re reach for the um, Mod Podge and that's fair enough, don't get me wrong, It's it's got its place. But in this particular instance, I'm really conscious of the fact that if we start using a lot of mod podge on this particular envelope, we're likely to buckle the actual paper itself. So what I'm going to do on this occasion is use a glue stick. Any glue stick. I mean, it doesn't. I'm using a wee cheap one out of Wilkinson's, which is a wee uh, kind of multi... Well, it's a bit like Woolworths, if you know what I mean. Um, sells all sorts of things for all sorts of tasks. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to lay my napkin on top. My napkin may well overlap, but what I'm then going to do is I'm going to use one of the acetate films that you get with stamps. Put that down on top of it and basically rub it out to the edges in the hope of keeping things kind of flattish so that it doesn't all wrinkle. Now there's every possibility that I don't have enough glue on this. Uh, obviously it's really quite difficult to tell. You see the, the lights are that wee bit at the bottom but that's easily resolved. All you've got to do is come in with your glue stick on its edge then press down your napkin again and go over it to make sure it's flat. I think not 100% in that corner but that's okay. Right now we've got a bit overlapping here so we're going to have to address that. It's easy enough to snip away. When you're tearing your section to prepare to do decoupage like this, with napkins, I'm going to run actually along the side here like that, just to make sure that's definitely down. Um, with napkins, it's always a better, I feel, to have your edges not cut unless you're exceptionally neat. You're better to use a wet a paintbrush, a thin wet paintbrush and just go around the edge that you're wanting to use and then pull it away. If you can, try and allow your uh, napkin time to dry before you decide to do any of your gluing because if you do it while it's still wet, that's already wrinkling the napkin. Adding Mod Podge underneath it and trying to get it into position is, is virtually impossible. Or at least I find it pretty difficult to do. I have terrible bother with that. Right, so that's that corner done. We'll do this other corner. I'm just making sure I add 
enough of the glue stick. I mean, the good thing about the glue stick is if you're not adding anything on top of it, ultimately it will dry itself anyway. So you're not going to have much of an issue with it. Right, I don't want my napkins to meet, so I'm going to have to have it over the edge a wee bit. Use my acetate again and smooth it out. Hopefully, I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes the wrinkles can look okay and in keeping with what you're doing, but I do, if I'm being entirely honest, I prefer, oops, see, we need to go over that with it. I prefer to try and avoid too many wrinkles if I can. It's fine. That's us. And we'll cut off the excess here. Need to be careful as I go round the rounded corner. Oh, do me. And it looks quite nice like that with the decoupage on top uh, of the the Edith Holden page. Right, glue stick out the way. Right, the next thing I'm going to add to it is my lace. And I plan on putting my lace in the corner here. I've managed to find a square doily and I cut, uh, it was four wee sections like that, so I've cut, um, I think it's actually a rectangular. I've cut one wee section that I plan to put there, I think. And I've got another couple of wee bits of lace, so I'll probably add something down that side like that. And with maybe a wee something else here just over the top they're not I mean that's a kind of I don't know how best to describe it's kind of like caramel coloured that's certainly ivory and I would say that's off white it's not white white but it's off white um, all your laces it's nice when they do all match but they don't need to it's not life or death I mean this is about how you feel about your art, you know, how you make your art, and your art is what you make it, as they say. It's, um, you don't need to follow anybody else's rules, you can do your own rules, make your own rules. It's however you feel. So, we'll get this added down, and I'm going to use the old fabric tag. Just make sure I'm still recording. And just add a couple of wee dods. Dod being a Scottish term for meaning a bit. Uh, now, I want to try and make sure my edges are stuck if I can. And I'm going to be quite careful with this. That you don't overdo it. But at the same time, you want to make sure you've got enough down that it definitely sticks. I think we should be okay with that. Actually, you knows I must be going to be angry. Don't you just love the glue? The glue, glue. Can't see it. Glue threads. Right, let's tip this over, and we're going to stick it in this corner here, like that. That's fine, happy enough with that. Right, I'm wanting to have a wee bit of lace down the side here, so in this particular instance I think it would be easier to run the fabric tack down the side. That's fine. Then add more. Our lace. Pat it down very gently and we can snip off the top. I 
the bottom we'll need to watch because we've obviously got a bit of a rounded edge so we want to make sure it's stuck hopefully it is, there shouldn't be any reason why it isn't right, I'm adding this wee bit of lace here just going to add a wee toty section toty being another Scottish term for small You'll soon get to know all the Scottish words because I use an awful lot of them or should I say I use an awful lot Right, a wee bit of glue along here and we'll add to that Now I think I'm okay for lace, I don't think I need to add anything else um, but we'll judge once we've started getting everything else organised next what I had planned in doing was adding a couple, well maybe as much as three bits of ephemera to this this is just one of the uh, images I've got of I think it's a tax demand or something like that And we're just cutting around the edge and of course something I'll need to do is I'm not very good at cutting on a straight line I'll need to go over that with the old vintage photo I'm also going to be using another image of a girl in a swan here so what I'm planning on doing is having that, that will go over the edge a wee bit that will go there or in fact it won't, it will go there in the same line as that I've got another wee tiny image that I'm going to add here once I cut that out and I want my stick pin that we made to stick in here once I'm done but first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over my corners with my vintage photo uh, just so that they all look that's fine now I cut this out using an over oh, sorry I've got fabric tack all over my thumb I hate that uh, I used an oval die uh, doesn't need to be you can use the picture square if you like or rectangular for however it comes whatever suits you uh, I just quite like to mix things up a wee bit in terms of um, not making everything look very very regimented, I like to add a wee bit of uh, difference to things right, uh, glue first I'm going to join this to the ephemera piece so and I'm going to have my ephemera piece hanging over the edge slightly and that's okay in my book I don't have an issue with that I think that's reasonably attractive no, wait a minute to see. Right. we need to avoid the, fin the finger corner if you like because that's the one that's going to be over the edge a wee bit of fabri tag because it works the quickest and it doesn't need to be over the edge by an awful lot just the least wee bit just to make it look different and you don't want I mean I personally feel when I'm making a journal I don't want my journals to necessarily look like everybody else's I mean yeah I watch everybody's video and I, there are awesome awesome people out there 
and their ideas are brilliant for some of the stuff they're doing. But what I want to do is, if it's possible, pick up the idea and adapt it in some way. It doesn't mean that I need to make whatever I'm going to do exactly as they did it. Um, it's really just a question of seeing what other people do and how you can adapt their work to fit in with your style. Now, what I need to watch here is this isn't entirely flat. Uh, so I'll need to be careful with a wee lassie because I don't want her face to be bent, so to speak. A wee bit of the old fab re-tag. And we'll just stick her there at a wee jaunty angle. She doesn't need to be straight as can be. Now, what I would think I would like up here is maybe to add a wee stamp. Um, bear with me while I fight my way in to get to my stamps. Uh, da -da -da. When you're, it doesn't need to be, again, it doesn't need to be a stamp. Say you're looking at this and you're thinking, uh, yeah, I would like to add a stamp, but I don't have any. You could literally rubber stamp something in the corner. You're just looking for a wee something to give the eye a bit of attention up here because it's lying blank and that in itself is not it's not attractive, do you know what I mean? It's It, it just needs a wee something. Right, I've got a wee uh, French vintage stamp here. Have a look at the back of it to make sure it's okay. Um, I think we're okay using a glue stick for this. So if you can bear with me just a second and we'll get that added on. So we'll put that in that wee corner there, and that's it for the glued down elements if you like. The next thing we need to do is add our little stick pin. So I can take off my wee bit that was holding it, and just carefully wedge it in there and that's held in place by the lace. I don't need to actually add the wee stopper to hold it in. That's us pretty much as it lies. So, that's for envelope. Hopefully you'll like it. I mean, it's, it's usable for storing any ephemera within your journal. Uh, obviously you'll just need to watch that decorative pin being there. I could actually bring it up, just give me a wee second. What I'll do is I'll maybe bring it up just a wee bit higher. Oh, need another wee bit of glue in that. That's us. We'll leave it like that and that's our envelope. So, thanks very much for joining me. As I've said, I'll leave a link, uh, I said in the first one, I'll leave a link to Lisa's. Uh, video on her envelopes and you can have a wee look and see what you think of both and see if they're any use to you when it comes to making ephemera for your journals. Thanks very much for your time folks. See you again soon. Bye. Bye.